And are you stunned that MMA in New York is not legalized yet? A little bit. Uh, you know, I, I don't, can't see why they wouldn't pass it, but uh, you know, I'm not really, I don't really follow it all that much. And, uh, they kind of just call know. you up and say, hey, you're fighting here and here. Yeah, and the- yeah the, you know, as far as New York goes, you know, the legal spot I uh, will follow, but uh, you know, I, I hope it passes soon because I would love to fight in, uh, in New York, especially, you know, you know, my, during my career, so yeah. Absolutely. At first, uh, you know, I couldn't hear anything, and uh, yeah, I was just trying to defend myself. So I, you know, at first, I had no idea what happened. You know, I thought maybe the ref said something. You know, I couldn't hear. I wasn't paying attention to what her team was saying. I was, I was trying to defend myself, and uh, makes sense. Yeah. So. He, you know, he jumped off, and you know, I yelled something explicit and got up, and uh, I turned to my corner, and Jim's like, fight's not over, get it after him. So then I turn around, and I saw him sitting on the cage, and I didn't know what to do. You know, for my first thought was pull him off the cage and start punching him, but uh, Herb luckily stepped in. <laughs> uh, definitely, uh, you know, if New York does legalize it, it'll be a bigger ex- exposure. Uh, you know, New Jersey doesn't seem to get the exposure that, like, uh, you know, say California or, you know, the West Coast, you know, MMA productions get. Um, I don't know why. We have fantastic fighters here, like you said, you know. Right, uh, you're a lightweight champion from Jersey. Yeah, you know, you exactly. Guys. And, uh, you know, Charlie and, uh, you know, there's a bunch of good guys just in our gym that don't get the exposure that, you know, they really deserve. So I think it'll put a bigger spotlight on it on the uh, East Coast MMA. If the UFC does put a 125-pound uh, division in uh, Sean Santella. Um, he's one of the best 25-pounders out there. He's doing phenomenal at, at 135, and uh, it's too big for him. So, uh, you know, once you know, if the UFC does put it in, you know, he's uh, going to be a force to be reckoned with. You know, Sean is a, a fantastic fighter. And if you really tried, could you grow an epic beard like Jim? Because I asked him for advice, yeah. he told me just to grow, but I have <laughs> a hard time doing that. No, uh, Jim's a special man. Uh, he's got a special beard. Uh, no, I can't. I've tried. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried, and it's pretty ugly and hideous. You know, I, I had some guys who, 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 who are, you know, fans on Twitter and saying whatever, great footwork. This isn't fucking Dancing with the Stars. You know what I mean? You can't win a fight by running around in circles. It's not how fights are won.